various activities associated with the maintenance of streets and drainage facilities may result in stormwater pollution if not conducted properly. Employees who maintain and repair our streets and drainage infrastructures can help reduce water pollution by following precautions in their daily activities. This video will show how to protect stormwater quality by using best management practices for pavement repair, paint striping, storm drain inlet cleaning, ditch maintenance, and reporting pollution and illegal dumping. During concrete saw cutting operations, be sure to vacuum or contain slurry. Create a pool of slurry by blocking the flow along a curb using sandbags or other material. Once contained, vacuuming the slurry with a wet-dry vacuum is the preferred collection method. The slurry may then be poured into an open container and disposed of in the trash after the water has evaporated. Do not allow the slurry to enter the storm drains or to remain on pavement to dry out. Require concrete trucks to wash out in a designated location where wash water will be contained and will not drain into a storm sewer, drainage ditch, or creek. Place stockpiles of asphalt patching material on concrete or other paved surfaces and cover them to prevent contact with rain. Mix only the amount of patching material necessary to complete the repair. Sweep up and properly dispose of all patching material that is not compacted or left over from the repair. Use less harmful products rather than diesel for asphalt patching and cleanup activities. Clean trucks, equipment, and tools in designated equipment wash facilities where wash water will be contained. If no wash facility is available, clean equipment over a layer of absorbent material spread on a paved surface or heavy plastic sheeting. Sweep up the absorbent and dispose of in accordance with state and federal regulations. When painting, check the weather and don't apply paint when rain is likely or during high winds. Excess paint should be disposed of properly. When finished with a job, Pour small quantities of unused latex paint into open barrels and allow it to dry. You may then dispose of the dried paint in the trash. When cleaning equipment used during painting, contain the wash water and dispose of it in a sanitary sewer. Do not allow wash water to drain into a storm drain. Oil-based paint must be handled with extra care. Place unused paint in proper containment bins which must be disposed of in accordance with the state and federal regulations. Cleaning storm drain inlets regularly is an important part of preventing trash from being washed into our waterways. Trash and debris removed from inlets and catch basins may be disposed of in a sanitary landfill unless there is evidence of contamination with oil or other pollutants. Report suspected dumping or pollution problems to supervisory personnel. To help deter dumping, apply markers with a no dumping message to inlets where there is evidence of dumping. Not properly maintaining ditches and storm water infrastructures can result in costly and often difficult repairs. Ditch maintenance activities include vegetation removal, sediment removal, or reshaping the line and grade. Sample and analyze material that has been removed from ditches if it appears to be contaminated with oil or other pollutants. Contaminated sediments must be disposed of in accordance with state and federal regulations. Uncontaminated soil may be used on-site to shape ditches or stockpiled and used as fill for another location. Cover soil stockpiles to prevent erosion and install a silt fence to contain sediment. Apply grass seed to exposed soils. A compost and mulch mixture applied with seed will speed vegetation growth, which prevents erosion. 
if the channel experiences high velocities, turf reinforcement mats or check dams should be used to protect the channel until vegetation is established. Look for signs of pollution at the job site and during travel. Some indicators to look for include oil sheen on the water surface, excess trash and debris, a foul odor, colored or cloudy water, and dead or dying fish. Also, keep an eye out for illegal dumping. If any of these indicators are spotted, report the suspected pollution problem to supervisory personnel or to the local TCEQ office. During saw cutting operations, slurry should be A. Allowed to dry on the pavement B. Vacuumed up C. Wash down the nearest storm drain D. None of the above The answer is B. Vacuumed up Slurry contains many harmful contaminants and should be contained and disposed of properly. Excess oil-based paint should be handled in the same manner as latex paint. A. True B. False The answer is B. False Oil-based paints must be placed in proper containment bins, while latex paint may be allowed to dry and place in the trash. Where should excess asphalt patching material be placed? A. In the grass field B. Near a storm drain C. On a concrete or paved surface D. Any place is acceptable The answer is C. On a concrete or paved surface where it can be contained and not allowed to wash into the storm drains Signs of polluted water include A. Oil sheen on the water surface B. Dead or dying fish C. Colored or cloudy water D. All of the above The answer is D. All of the above If signs of pollution are spotted Notify your supervisor or contact the local TCEQ office. Various activities associated with the maintenance of streets and drainage facilities may result in stormwater pollution if not conducted properly. Help prevent stormwater pollution by vacuuming and containing slurry during saw cutting operations washing out concrete trucks only in designated areas, cleaning up properly after any spill, properly disposing of excess paints, applying grass seed and mulch to exposed soils, and reporting signs of pollution to your supervisor. By using these best management practices while on the job, you will be helping keep our communities and waterways clean and healthy for future generations to enjoy. Thank you.